about every month or so, uh, I travel around to the different groups in Western North Carolina. Um, one of the things that became pretty apparent while I was running for, for office is how much people are doing great work in advancing our cause, the American cause, the cause of freedom and personal liberty in the realm of politics. How much is being done? Now, it's a patient study. It takes a lot of work, a lot of nerve, a lot of spine, a lot of stomach to stick it out in the realm of politics. I was convinced by a close friend of mine that if we desire, regardless of the component which is in God's hands, if we desire to return to our roots in a way that is bloody, then we must fight politically. We must. Period. We must. And one of the things that I like to either start with or end with or both is attempting to instill that one of the primary components that we need to put in place and keep in place, because after all, what are we, what are we really learning here? Everyone, we sense the position that we're in. We sense that uh, preparedness and survival is a reality that we need to address, find out what we can do, and move forward. But what are we trying to help survive? If we stick with the idea of being our own lives, then we've already lost. It's our way of life that we're trying to help survive. That's what we must keep forward. It's not gone yet. It's not. You're here. I'm here. We have the pieces remaining, the remnants, the drops of freedom left within us. It's not gone. We're on the precipice. But you're here. I'm here. What really matters is what we do next. Going back to where I segued from, when I was on the, 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 the political uh, trail, I saw that a lot of people were working in politics. But I saw how much work it was going to take to get us there. The good fight. And what was happening in the meantime. And how much of a window. It's like watching the ground come up to you, falling in the ground. There's no time left. We will make it. We will recover this country. In one form or another, whether it's named the United States of America, freedom will persist. I believe that. Absolutely. 